find the domain of the function. So f of x is equal to 1 over x squared plus 9 minus 5 over x squared minus 4. So the domain is the set of all inputs. In other words, it's all of the x values you can plug into your function that makes sense. And in this case, that basically means we can't divide by 0. So we have to make sure that the denominator of these fractions is not 0. So in this case here, x squared plus 9, that's the denominator, it's always going to be positive. And the reason is x squared is always 0 or positive. And if you add 9 to that, that's positive, so the result is always positive. If you're not sure, you can try to solve it for x by setting it equal to 0. Then you would subtract 9. So you would get x squared equals negative 9. Then take the square root of both sides. And that gives you x equals plus or minus 3i. Right? So that's no good. We're only dealing with real numbers. So whenever you have like x squared plus a number on the bottom of your fraction, like these here, um, there's no issue. So no problems here. This is OK. For this piece here, we're looking for what makes the denominator 0. So we take the bottom and set it equal to 0. Then just add 4 to both sides. So we end up with x squared equals 4. To solve for x, we take the square root of both sides. So square root, square root. And we end up with x equals plus or minus 2. So these are the two numbers that make the bottom of this fraction 0. In other words, they make this function undefined. So the domain is everything except these two numbers. So what you can do now if you want to help you find the answer is to draw a picture. So you plot the negative 2 and you plot the 2. And the domain is everything except these two numbers. So you shade everything except those two numbers. Now, when you're trying to get rid of the negative 2, you want to exclude it. So you could put a little hole there if you want, but that's not going to help us find the interval notation. So what we do is we shade all this in and we put a parentheses because parentheses means exclude. We start back up at negative 2 and again we exclude it, so parentheses. We do the same thing here. Generally when you want to eliminate a number, like say you wanted to get rid of 7, you would just do that. Those opposing parentheses will get rid of a number. Now we can finally write the answer down. So it's negative infinity to negative 2, parentheses union, and then negative 2 to 2 and then union to to infinity. And that's the final answer. That's it.